The Cool Contraption Guy presents Making Christmas Tree Low Water Alert by Tom Fox, workshop editor for Boys Quest and Fun for Kids magazine. Hi, I'm Tom Fox. I first had this project published in the December 2007 issue of Boys Quest magazine. For more information about Boys Quest, go to boysquest.com. This is a list of the stuff you need for this project. This list is also given in the video description. The electronic parts for this project are mounted with wood screws on a 4 inch length of a 1x3 board. You can also use a 1x4 board. Notice one half inch long number 4 and number 6 round head wood screws are used. If you have a problem finding number 4 wood screws, you can use all number 6 screws, although you might have a bit more trouble wiring the transistor so its wire leads don't short out. Screw the wood screws about a quarter inch into the wood. I would recommend you first drill pilot holes. 1 16th inch for the number 4 screws and 3 36th inch for the number 6 screws. After drilling the pilot holes, the next step is to start installing the screws. For now, screw in the screws roughly halfway. Keep in mind that the 1 16th inch pilot holes are for the number 4 screws, while the 3 32nd pilot holes are meant for the number 6 screw. This drawing shows how to wire the electronic parts to the board. Connections are made by wrapping the parts wire leads between the head of the screw and the board. After you wrap the wire around the screw, tighten the screw to keep the wires in place. Make sure both the transistor and the LED are connected exactly as shown. Notice that this project uses two LEDs but only one is shown. The other LED is part of the ornament you put on the tree. When the water level in the tree stands gets real low, both LEDs will light. This is a photo of my original Christmas tree low water alert and it shows the real world version of the previous drawing. Notice the battery is attached to the board with a plastic cable tie. You can also use mounting tape or even duct tape. Also notice that the board itself is attached to the Christmas tree with a 2.5 inch number 8 wood screw. Two LEDs in series are needed for this project to work properly. One of the LEDs is on the wood board and the other one is part of the ornament. This drawing shows how Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer ornament was made. Use craft glue and glue two wooden teardrop shapes to wooden circle and paint the two eyes. For the antlers, glue six short chenille stems to the head. A bright red LED is used for the nose. Feel free to use your imagination and design your own unique ornament. Make sure, however, that you use an LED and you connect wires to it as shown in the next drawing. This drawing shows how to connect wires to the LED that is part of the ornament. Make sure the black wire is connected to the LED short wire and the white wire to the LED's long wire. I first built this project in 2006 and we have been using it every time we put up a Christmas tree. If we didn't use it, I am sure all the tree's needles would drop right around Christmas, if not before. The circle was planned to be super simple, which required a rather unique design. The main electronic part for this project is the junction field effect transistor, which is one of my favorite semiconductor parts to design with. Perhaps. Just perhaps, because it reminds me of an electron vacuum tube, which I sometimes used in my early electronic designs. Well, that's about it. I hope you have fun and, oops, I better get some water for the tree.
For more information about Boy's Quest magazine and how you can subscribe, go to www.boysquest.com.